Formation of white blood cells. The process of development and maturation of white blood cells, also known as leukocytes, is called leukopoiesis and is a part of hemopoiesis, which is formation of blood cells. All the blood cells develop from the so-called pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells. The stem cells, after a series of divisions, differentiate into progenitor cells, which are also called colony-forming units. The leukopoiesis can be discussed under two headings, formation of granulocytes, which is known as granulopoiesis, and monocytes, and formation of lymphocytes, lymphopoiesis, formation of granulocytes and monocytes. The granulocytes and monocytes are formed in the bone marrow from the colony-forming unit called colony-forming unit granulocytes and monocytes. The progenitor cells forming the different cells are further named as CFUG are neutrophil forming units, CFUEO refers to eosinophil forming units, CFUBA are basophil forming units, and CFUM refers to monocyte forming units. The development of granulocytes through various stages is called myeloid series and development of monocytes through various stages is called monocyte macrophage series. Myeloid series some facts about granulopoiesis. The cell's myeloid series include myeloblast, promyelocytes, myelocytes, metamyelocytes, band forms, and segmented granulocytes. The process of granulopoiesis takes about 12 days. Granulocytes are formed and stored in the bone marrow. When the need arises, they are released in circulation. Normally, the number of granulocytes in bone marrow is about three times as compared to circulating in the peripheral blood. Monocyte macrophage series. These are described separately because of different morphological stages which include monoblast, promonocytes, and monocytes. Monoblast is a large cell similar in structure to myeloblast from which it cannot be distinguished on morphological grounds alone. Promonocyte is a young monocyte about 20 micrometers in diameter. Its nucleus is large, dented, and contains one nucleolus. The nuclear chromatin is arranged in a loose network. The cytoplasm is basophilic and contains no azorophilic granules, but may have fine granules which are larger than those in the mature monocyte. Third stage is monocyte. From the bone marrow, the monocyte migrates into spleen and lymphoid tissues in considerable numbers. The transformed stages of these cells in the various tissues are called tissue macrophages and form a part of tissue macrophage system, which was previously known as the reticuloendothelial system. Formation of lymphocytes the lymphocytes are found in the lymphocyte stem cells which are formed from the PHSCS in the bone marrow. The lymphocyte stem cells migrate into the thymus and the peripheral lymphoid tissue where they proliferate and mature into lymphocyte. In man, the bone marrow and thymus form the primary lymphopoietic organs where the lymphoid stem cells undergo spontaneous division independent of antigenic stimulation. The tissues which actively produce lymphocytes from the germinal centers of lymphoid follicles as a response to antigenic stimulation constitute the so-called secondary or reactive lymphoid tissue. It is comprised of the lymph nodes, spleen, and gut-associated lymphoid tissue. Lymphoid series. The maturation stages of lymphoid series are lymphoblast. It is the earliest recognizable cell of the lymphoid series. It is an actively dividing cell and resembles the myeloblast morphologically except for the following minor differences. Nuclear chromatin is slightly clumped and stippled as compared to the fine meshwork in myeloblast, and nuclear membrane is fairly dense compared to very fine membrane of the myeloblast. Prolymphocyte It is the intermediate stage between the lymphoblast and mature lymphocyte. Its features are Diameter is 9 to 18 micrometers, Nucleus is round to indented with slightly stippled or coarse chromatin and may have 0 to 1 nucleoli. Cytoplasm is scanty and non-granular. Lymphocytes Prolymphocyte mature successively into a large lymphocyte and a small lymphocyte, both of which are found in circulation. 
Then some lymphocytes enter the thymus where they are processed and come out as T lymphocytes. In thymus, a factor called thymosin plays an important role in the processing. Some lymphocytes are processed in liver and bone marrow. These come out as B lymphocytes.